Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update. I'm excited to share with you some interesting updates and insights on the current state of the banking and currency markets. Today, we'll dive into a story about a small state bank in Texas and the broader trends we're seeing across the banking industry. First, let's talk about this report from Intel Guru Markets. He shares an intriguing anecdote about a member who visited a local bank in Texas and had a curious interaction with the teller. When the member asked if there was a new banking system, the teller responded with could be. Then, when the member inquired about the bank's ability to exchange foreign currency, the teller said, yes, we will be. Now, this may seem like a minor interaction but it's actually quite significant. The fact that a smaller state bank is already preparing to handle foreign currency exchanges suggests that they are anticipating significant changes in the banking landscape. This aligns with Marx's observation that more and more banks are reporting massive changes. What could these massive changes be? It's important to remember that the global financial system is in a state of flux, with various factors at play, including geopolitical tensions, economic uncertainty, and the ongoing effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. As a result, banks of all sizes, from the largest global institutions to the smaller regional players, are likely re-evaluating their strategies and adapting to the evolving financial landscape. One potential driver of these changes could be the growing interest and adoption of alternative currencies, such as digital assets and cryptocurrencies. As these new financial instruments gain traction, banks may be feeling the need to expand their capabilities to accommodate their clients' evolving needs and preferences. Additionally, regulatory changes and advancements in financial technology, fintech, may be pushing banks to modernize their systems and infrastructure. The ability to handle foreign currency exchanges, as mentioned in the Texas Bank story, could be part of a broader effort to enhance the bank's services and stay competitive in the rapidly changing financial sector. It's also worth noting that the report from Marx comes on the heels of last night's updates, which he encourages viewers to catch up on. These updates may provide further context and insights into the ongoing developments in the banking and currency markets. If you're an investor in the Iraqi dinar, Marx's message is particularly relevant. He emphasizes the importance of being on the dinaguru.com alert list, as it can help you stay informed about any critical developments that you won't want to miss. Signing up for the alert list is free and only takes a moment, so it's a valuable resource for those with a vested interest in the dinar. In conclusion, the story shared by Intel Guru Marks highlights the dynamic nature of the banking industry and the apparent preparation for significant changes. As we continue to navigate these uncertain times, it's essential to stay informed and vigilant as the financial landscape can shift rapidly. Whether you're an investor in the dinar or simply interested in the broader trends, keeping a close eye on the latest updates and insights can help you make more informed decisions and stay ahead of the curve. Remember to check out the previous updates from last night and consider signing up for the dinaguru.com alerts list to ensure you don't miss any important developments. Together, let's explore this fascinating and ever-evolving financial land escape. Thanks for the watching my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update.